What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So undefeated WBC lightweight world champion superstar boxer Devin the Dream Haney. 27 wins, no losses, no draw. 15 wins by way of knockout. 23 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch armage. With that said, we know the topic of hand today as it has been reported and confirmed by father, trainer, manager, CEO of DHP, Devin Haney Promotions, that being none other than Bill Haney, has been denied a visa to be able to travel for Devin Haney's biggest fight of his career, his undisputed showdown with undefeated, newly crowned, unified, Australian star, lightweight, world champion boxer, George Cambosis Jr., who has 20 wins, no loss and no draw, 10 wins by way of knockout, he is 28 years of age, five foot nine with a 69 inch armage. It's scheduled to take place June 4th in the United States, June 5th in Australia. With that said, Bill Haney is his father first and second, Bill Haney is his manager, okay? Third, Bill Haney is his trainer, okay? Uh, so there's a level of comfort that's going to be missing a level of familiarity that will be missing. Now we still have two weeks uh, for the government um, over in Australia to make a decision and approve Bill Haney and allow him to come over and to be able to, you know, um, uh, uh, um, to allow him to be able to come over and uh, 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 train Devin Haney, okay? Uh, so with that said, right? Devin Haney has finally responded. And Devin Haney, he has stated now that, you know, um, he believes that this is just going to motivate him. First things first, he's not happy that Bill Haney is not allowed to come over. Uh, second of all, you know, um, you know, half of his team has reportedly not is not going to be able to travel over as well. So he has a, a, a dare I say, a makeshift team going into the biggest fight of his career. You're gonna have uh, Zab Judah's father uh, as his um, trainer. Uh, Zab Judah is Devin Haney's godfather. So uh, Zab Judah's father obviously trains Zab Judah. He's, uh, Noel Judah is going to train Devin Haney. He's gonna be in his corner. So Devin Haney, he finally lands. Now we know uh, George Cambosis Jr. He took the social media and he had this to say regarding Devin Haney uh, missing his scheduled uh, press conference uh, for the fight, okay. So they had they had a, a press conference co press conference schedule, and uh, Devin Haney didn't make the press conference. Obviously, as Bill stated, you know they had a lot going on, okay. Uh, so since he didn't make the press conference, you know uh, George Cambosis Jr. he responded, and uh, he had some things to say regarding um, Devin Haney not making a press conference, uh, and he had this to say. He says, um, you know. Um, he says it's a shame that Devin Haney didn't keep up his end of the bargain. Uh, and you know, uh, he didn't come do what he was supposed to do. You know, um, uh, he said it's a shame Devin Haney couldn't keep uh, to his co uh, commitments and be here for a scheduled press conference between me and him today in Melbourne. Uh, don't get cold feet on me now, bro. I'm, I'm chomping at the bit for June 5th, okay? Uh, then he puts up a post and he says, can't wait to once again visit uh, uh, Ozzy, uh, this event will be massive. You know, um, uh, you know, My Michael Buffer is saying this, so he reposted Michael Buffer. Uh, uh, then, then he puts up a post. He said, "You won't see it coming." Uh, a post to him, uh, shadow boxing. Um, but he just, you know, stated that you know it's a shame that Devin Haney didn't keep his commitment. Okay. Uh, so with that said, we now know Devin Haney has landed in Australia. Okay. He's in Australia now. He has landed in Australia. And Devin Haney has now stated and made uh, um, a comments. He uh, stated that I'm still built different. Okay. Uh, you know, because Bill Haney, you know, many people is urging Devin Haney not to go now. Okay. Uh, stay home. Don't do it. Okay. Don't fight. Uh, and so with that said, Devin Haney said, I'm built different. Okay. Bill Haney stated that uh, he's prepared Devin Haney for this moment. Uh, he's prepared Devin Haney for the time that he may not be there. Uh, that's obviously something that nobody wants to believe, uh, think about. Okay. Um, but he said that, you know, Devin Haney is well prepared for this moment. 
uh, you know, uh, and he he's going to put on and put out. Uh, Bill Haney, he stated that Devin Haney told him right before he leave, if he if they don't let you come over here, I'm really going to turn up on him. Okay, uh, which is uh, uh, I believe is going to be even more difficult for him to turn it up a notch because I believe Devin Haney wants uh, to turn it up on George Cambosis Jr. Anyway, I just believe that this gives him added motivation to do so and make it uh, uh, as easy as possible, okay? You have fans cheering it, celebrating it, okay? Uh, you know, any advantage they, they, they could have uh, that would they feel like, you know, um, gives the, uh, the, the chances and the percentage of them winning this fight uh, going up, you know, uh, I believe that they are, you know, um, uh, uh, celebrating that, right? Because fans are not as confident, you know, uh, as most fans, I would say 80% of most fans are not as confident in their fighters as they, uh, um, they, they pretend to be. Okay. Uh, so they'll tell you, you know, George Cambos is going to knock out Devin Haney. They'll tell you that 10 times, 10,000 times over. Okay. Um, but when it, when it comes, when it all boils down to, it, and it all comes down to it, uh, they have no, um, no confidence when it comes to a fight of this magnitude, okay? Uh, they're just not that confident, period, okay? So with that said, you know, um, George Cambosis Jr., you know, um, uh, is has been very topsy-turvy. He said this one thing and then he says another thing. He says that he didn't want a rematch clause, then he needs a rematch clause. He stated that he wanted to fight Devin Haney. He knew he had to go through Devin Haney, be undisputed. Then he said that uh, he was already undisputed. So he's been fickle, okay? which leads me to believe he's not very confident, okay? And uh, I believe that this is a, a sign for him to feel like, oh, Devin Haney is not gonna be 100% focused, okay? Uh, so then uh, somebody put up a post, I believe it was ESPN, and they said, uh, this is a very tough and very rough for the biggest fight in Devin Haney's career with Devin Haney, um, you know, not having his father, trainer, and manager in his corner, okay? Uh, that's essentially all he knows, obviously, right? That's his father. And like Bill said, they've been doing this for 15 years, okay? Uh, Devin Haney is 23. So for 15 years, since he was eight years old, they've been, you know, inseparable, okay? And so for the biggest fight of his career, he won't hear his father's voice or see his father in the corner physically. Now, I'm sure they'll find a way, Bill Haney, FaceTime, uh, phone calls, things of that nature, but it just doesn't make up for him physically being there, okay? So with that said, you know, um, I believe that uh, Devin Haney, you know, uh, will show up and show out. And so in response to this being the biggest fight of his career and Bill not being there, he just put the, the, the angry emoji with the steam coming out of his nose, uh, letting it be known that he's very, very uh, upset. Uh, he's very, you know, um, disappointed in, in, you know, this decision. Uh, and obviously he wants it to be overturned as most people, but fans, again, fans are happy, you know, that by as long as they get the W, they don't care how they get the W. Okay. As long as the fans see their favorite fighter, uh, in the win column, right? If, if Devin Haney's handicapped and not focused, they don't care about that. But if the roles were reversed and it was their favorite fighter, they will be pitching a fit. Okay. They will be upset. So with that said, you know, um, Devin Haney finally lands in Australia. He's there. Um, and he responds and he lets the world know that he's very angry uh, that this decision uh, has been made. He wants it overturned, obviously. Um, and he said that I'm built different. OK, uh, they still have two weeks. We are going into today is the 18th. OK, so um, you still have about two weeks, two and a half weeks out before um the decision they still could ch or change it and uh look into it and you know on uh, the powers that be because this case with bill haney is over 30 years old this took place in 1992 okay uh we in 2022 so that was 30 years ago okay uh and he hasn't repeated he's not a repeated offender okay uh he hasn't been in trouble with the law since then you know uh so i mean 30 years ago they, they should find a way uh, um, and give him a pass, an exemption, you know, uh, for his son that's competing. Now, most recently, this happened with Tyson Fury. When Tyson Fury fought Deontay Wilder, 
uh, um, Big John Fury wasn't able to come to the States for whatever reasons. So uh, I believe that, I believe it'll get overturned. Um, I believe that they'll look into, investigate it, fight of this magnitude, uh, Devin Haney's trainer, father and manager. It's not that he's just his father. It's one thing in the case of uh, uh, Tyson Fury where, you know, he was just his father figure. They wouldn't let his father come. But in the case of Devin Haney, it's his trainer and his manager as well, okay? So it's business as well. And I'm sure they could find a way to, uh, um, you know, um, make it a, a, a exception for Bill Haney. So Devin Haney say he's gonna show up and show out and let the world know uh, uh, I'm still built different. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Road. Make sure you like your shitty videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.